Hello, hello. Hi, class. Can you hear hello, me? Teacher. Hello. Hi. Nice hello, to teacher. see you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Samuel. Hi, class. How are you? How are you today? Are you happy today? Are you tired today? Thank you. You're fine. I'm good. I'm Hi, good. Thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm good. Yes. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Here we go. Okay, we are already, let me see, 11 students. So tell me class, how was your day? Was this a good day, a bad day, a busy day? What can you tell me about your day? How was it? Yes, how was it? I have a busy day. A very busy day at work. Yes, right? So you see, uh, before we continue, don't forget uh, the recommendation. No olviden las indicaciones que siempre se nos comparten in the group of WhatsApp, eh, de tener su nombre completo, okay? Nombre completo, para que sepamos pasar la asistencia e identificarlos cuando descargamos de Zoom. Eh, en cada clase, pues, recopilamos cuántos minutos cada uno se ha conectado. Así que, nombre completo, siempre cámaras encendidas. All the time. Don't forget the instructions, okay? I gave you the instructions yesterday. So cameras on all the time. Don't be afraid to participate. Okay, there you go. Now I can see you. Excellent. I can see Carmen Lisette. I can see Marina, Delmi, Samuel, Ingrid, Katia, Wendy. I'm still missing. Okay, there you go, Jaime. Thank you so much. I'm still missing Amilcar, Catherine, Gabriela, Emma, Nereida, Carlos Manuel. Jansi and Zaira. Okay. Hello, good evening. So let's start the class. Um, do you remember the topic from yesterday? The first topic that we have, do you remember the vocabulary that we were practicing? What was the vocabulary? There were some expressions that we were using and we had a question. What was the question? Do you remember? Yes, no. I don't know is and uh, how do you get work? Very good job, Jancy. How do you get to work? Cameras on, please. Cameras on all the time. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? And we have this vocabulary, eight different pictures that tell us that there are so many other and these ones in a specific ways to get to work or to get from one place to another one. So do you remember the vocabulary? Number one, how do we get to work? Number one, everybody. I've been driving a car. Ah, but we were using an expression. We were using this one. Number one. by driving okay by driving number two by walking walking, by walking. Okay. Excellent. and so on the same example for the other expressions so one more time let me ask you this is just a review in order to see if you remember the vocabulary number one how do we get to work number one class go ahead by by driving by, by driving, driving a car. Yeah. number two by, by walking. walking by walking. Walk, walk. walking 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 very good number three by, by taking, taking the bus. bus 
by taking the bath. Number four. By, by taking the subway. subway. By taking the subway. Number five. By, by taking, taking the, the train. train. By taking the train. Number six. By, by, by riding, riding a, bike. a bike. By riding a bike. Number seven. By riding, riding, riding a bike. Motorcycle. A motorcycle. Or riding a bike. Uh -huh. Excellent. A motorcycle or a bike. And the last one, number eight. How do you do it? Taking a cab. Okay, so yes. You still remember the pronunciation. So what are we going to do right now to start the class? Vamos a tomar la asistencia para empezar nuestra clase. Don't forget to say here or present. Today is, what day is it today? Who can tell me the date? Is it Monday today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. 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 Tuesday what? Tuesday, Tuesday March 15th. Tuesday? March 15th. Excellent. Tuesday, March 15th. That's okay. So here we go. Number one in my list. Amilcar. Present teacher. Very good. Bernardo Antonio. Okay, maybe he's not here right now. Carlos Manuel. Present. Excellent. Carmen Guadalupe. Okay. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Hola, hola. Oh, okay. Oh, present. Excellent. There you are, Carmen Guadalupe. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Okay. Claudia Lisette López. Okay. Delmi Carolina Sosa. No. Emma Jamilet. Present. Oh, Delmi, Present. there you are. Very good, Jam. Present. Emma. And Emma as well. Excellent. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Excellent. Herston Antonio Hernandez. I'm here. Excellent. Ingrid Chamilet Arias. Present. Excellent. Jaime Oswaldo Cortez. Present. Okay. Jose Samuel Rodriguez. Present teacher. Very good. Juliana Vergeli Martinez. Over here. Present. Okay, excellent. Karen Yvette. Present. Catherine Abigail. Present. Excellent. Catherine Alicia. Present. Okay. Katia Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Kelly Magdalena. Present. Excellent. Marina del Carmen. Present. Okay. Marvin Raimundo. It's me. Excellent. Nereida Patricia. Present. Okay. Stacy Nicole. Yes. No. Stacy, let me see. No. Wendy de Carmen. Present. Okay. Jancy Andrea. Thank you. Okay. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. Okay. So did I mention everybody or am I just missing somebody from this class? Si los mencioné a todos, todos estaban presentes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, muy bien. Esperemos que los demás que hacen falta se nos conecten. Ayer tuvimos sí, asistencia yo. perfecta. Yes. Sí. 
Buenas noches, teacher. Yo ahorita me voy conectando. Tenía problemas de conexión. Ah, ok, Bernardo. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for letting me know. So, I'm just missing Carly, Carmen Lisset, Claudia Lisset, and Stacy Nicole. Por si se conectan, los vamos a poner en nuestra lista. Ok, so, class, welcome. Today is Tuesday, and we have our second class. We were practicing, you know, a vocabulary about transportation. How do we get to work? How do we get to work? Okay, Carmen Lisset is there. Thank you, Carmen Lisset. Very good job. So for today, for today, we are going to continue, you know, with uh, some different uh, vocabulary and another topic. If you go and check your book, we are going to have this one, no more transportation. Don't forget to visit the platform and complete the activities, okay? This is the conversation that you're going to find. You can listen to the conversation and practice as well. So the second topic, take a look at this one. Now. But before we continue, let me ask you, family members can you mention can we think about family members which ones do you know or which ones do you remember right now if i ask you tell me five different family members what comes to your mind who can tell me father, everybody okay yes katya father mother father sister, mother sister daughter son wow okay grandparents Grandparents, yes. Uncle. Uncle, thank you. Sister. Sister. Cousin. Cousin. Aunt. Me. Okay. Nephew. Cousin. In law. Sister. In law. Brother in law. Sister in law. Brother in law. Excellent. So, a lot of vocabulary. So, let me show you this one, and I'm going to share this vocabulary uh, right now with you. So, look. We have a lot of family members and we can practice. Number one, don't forget that there is like a um, formal way to call mom. Well, I'm gonna say mother, that is very formal, and mom or mommy, okay? Which one do you prefer, mother or mom? Which one do mom. you prefer? Mom. 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 Mommy. Exactly, it's mommy. the same as in Spanish. In Espanol, como sería clase? Mami. Ah, oh, mami. Usamos más que todo mami o mamá, ¿verdad? O madre. Usamos madre. ¿Sí? ¿No? O sea, lo más. Ajá. Exacto. So, lo más común es mamá o mami. ¿Ok? But it's the same in, in English. ¿Ok? Mother is so formal. But we can use that one. Mom. Mom. ¿Ok? Father. It's the same. Father. What is another way to say father? Daddy. Daddy. Dad. Okay, dad, dad. dad or daddy. Very good. And we have mother-in-law, father-in-law. Mother-in-law and father-in-law. What is this one? Mother-in-law, father-in-law. Oh, do you have a father-in-law or a mother-in-law? Yes. Yeah, I don't have. No, you don't die. have. You don't have. You don't. You don't have. Do you love your mother and father-in-law? Are they nice Me? to yes. you? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Exactly. Mother and father-in-law. How about this one? Look at this one. Partner. Partner. What is this one? Partner is different. Ah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So don't confuse. Partner and parent. Look at this one. Almost the same spelling, but different meaning. Partner, exactly, la pareja. The parent is algo más. The parent, children. Okay. Children. Mm -hmm. It can be son and daughter. Hijos. Hijos, exactly. That is the plural. If you want to separate, you can say son, daughter, or if you want to include girls and boys, you can say 
children, okay? Los niños, los hijos, very good. Uncle, niece, nephew, grandson, granddaughter, and grandchild. How about this one? It's the same, right? Grand Nieto. child, exactly. Nieto. So if we say grandchild, we are going to include boys and girls, grandson and granddaughter. So what is the category? La categoría sería nietos, grandchild. Sorry, teacher, can Come. I ask you? Yes, of course. Child is singular and ch children is plural. Hmm? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, it is. So, grandchild. Sería la categoría para llamarlos nieto o nieto, ¿ok? Muy bien, muy buena pregunta. Child. How about this one? Who wants to help me out to read this one? Yes, please. Anybody who wants to participate reading, don't be afraid, ¿ok? Mimi. Thank you, Yancy. Okay, and cousin, husband, wife, ex, <laughs> son, daughter, sister, brother, grandmother, grandfather, grandparent. Okay, wow, interesting, you know, I just took this list from a book, but yeah, I'm so surprised that this is a you know, family member, and <laughs> now it's included. Ex, your ex, okay. Maybe it was part of your family, but not anymore. Okay, but it's interesting, interesting. Okay, so grandmother, grandfather, and the same one. How about this one? ¿Qué sería entonces esta clase? Grand suegros. Hmm? Abuelos. Suegros. Ah, abuelos. No, ¿cuáles suegros? ¿Cuáles son los suegros? Abuelos. Bisabuelo. Ah. Ah, miren, estas, don't confuse. How about this one? Veamos este, in green, the ones in okay, green. Okay, thank Ajá, ¿qué son esos? Mother-in-law, father-in-law. ¿Esos son los? Suegro. Suegro. Muy bien. Suegros. How about grandparents? ¿Qué serían? Abuelos. Ah, abuelos. 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 Abuelo. Uh -huh. Very good. And the last one. Who wants to help me out reading this one in green? Go. Another volunteer, but not a, a girl. I need a boy. Come on, boys. I know you can do it. Yes? Carlos yeah. Manuel. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you, okay? I need a boy right now. If not, sister in law, okay. brother in law, stepmother, and stepfather. Okay, stepmother, stepfather. Oh, take a look at this one. We have in law, in law. So, another expression, similar expression brother and sister. ¿A quién le llamamos así? Sister and brother. Cuñado y cuñados. Cuñado, cuñada. Cuñado, Suegro, cuñado. suegra. ¿En qué terminan? In law. Okay. In law. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es law? Do you know the meaning of law? Ley. 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 Muy bien. Ley. En inglés esto es ley. Muy diferente la traducción, ¿verdad? Interesante. En español es de una forma. En inglés cambia totalmente. Sister in law. And step mother, step Father. Madrastra y padrastro. Madrastra, muy bien. Step mother, step father. Okay. So, how do you say hijastro, hijastra? Si tenemos step mother, step father. So, what comes to your mind? How do we say that in English? Step, step daughter. And step daughter. Oh, okay. step sister. Oh. Mm, sister or daughter? Daughter and son. Oh, daughter, daughter and son. Excellent. Daughter and son. We the are just going to ask. Uh -huh. Ah, exactly. Hermanastra. Solo le agregamos entonces. Step. Y luego puede ser sister, daughter, son, 
brother, y así, ok? So, this is basic vocabulary. Any questions about this vocabulary? Is it clear? Yes? No? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Excellent. So, I have a picture. What do you see in the picture? There is a picture about the family. Can you describe this picture, please? Who are they? Or can you mention the family members that you see in this picture? This one right here, the one in green. Well, Who yeah. is that man? Who is that man? The father. Father, uh, father or? Father. Uh, mm -hmm. Husband. Oh, you know, there are many categories. It can be a father, dad, or? Oh, yes, Leah. <laughs> Or husband, okay, exactly, or son. How about that uh, that girl? Well, it's not a girl, right? It's a chica, it's a señora. The wife mm -hmm. of the husband mm -hmm. <laughs> and the mother. Mom, mother. What else? Wife. And take a look at these children, these kids. Who are they? They are the children. children. Oh, children. Very good. And we have brothers and sister. 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 Daughter and sister. Son. 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 Very good. So tell me about your family. How many members are there in your family? How many members are there in your family? Is that a big family or a small family? Tell me about your family. A big family. A big it's family? Small family. Wow. A, is a, a big small family. family. Small, a family. small family. Okay. Uh, Harrison, how's your family? Is it big? Small family? Yes, big family. It's a big family. How about Carmen Lisette? How's your family? Is your family big or small? Okay, I'm going to repeat. Tranquila, Carmen. How is your family? How is your family? Let me write it down. How, how is mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. family? Is it a big family or small family? Yes? Yes. How, okay, how's your family? Big or small? It's a smaller family. Oh, it's a small family, small family. Okay, excellent. So can you mention um, cutting? Can you mention the members of your family? Members. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you. Yeah, members from your family. You can take a look at the vocabulary and mention them. Yes, Karin? Okay, I guess she's having problems. Creo que tiene problemas con el auto, ¿eh? So, uh, tell me, Jaime, about your family. Is it a big family or a small family? Uh, big family. Big family. How many members are there in your family? How many? Uh, 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 father, uh, okay. mother, and okay. eight. Uh, uh, five uh, uh, eight Schindlers. Oh, wow. Uh, five 
Bye. <laughs> okay, uh, try to do it. I know you can do it. Uh, five girls so and five boys. No, you uh, say five girl. Okay. Uh, pardon, five boy, five boys. Pardon. Uh -huh. um, um, three. Three girls. Boy. Uh -huh. Three girls. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, class, don't forget that we never are going to say children's. Why? Because children is in plural. Uh -huh. The singular of children is child. Muy bien. Entonces esto. Nunca le agreguemos S. Sería children. Con la S, mm. nunca, ok? Children. Because that is the plural. El singular, ¿cuál es? Child. Children. Very good job. So just keep that in mind. So look at this one. What are we going to do? If we have family members, we can talk about them, but in a different way. Ok. Now we have a family. I have four pictures, four pictures. This is like a family tree, Fam family tree, un árbol genealógico, or árbol de la familia, okay? And we have Paul, we have Anne, Jason, and Emily. Paul, and Jason, and Emily. Tell me, who are they? They are a small family, okay? Small family. So. Tell me about this family. Who's Paul? Who is Paul? Who is Paul? The father of, of Jason and, and Jason and Emily's father. Okay, excellent. Paul. His husband. Uh -huh, uh, exactly. Daddy. Whose husband is it? The quién es el esposo? Husband, husband. Yes. From Annie. Annie. Exactly. It's Anne's. Anne's husband. Okay, we can say Anne's husband or Paul is Jason and Emily. Father. Father, exactly. Now let's talk about Anne. Hablemos de Anne. Who is Anne? Anne is Paul. Paul's, wife. Paul's wife. Wife, very good. Or and is Jason, Jason and, and Emily's Emily. mother. 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 Wow, great job. Tell me about Jason. Jason is? Children. Is, oh. is Annie and Emily's child. child. Paul son. and Anne's son Paul or child. Okay. okay, es el hijo de Paul y Anne. How about this girl? Jason is? Emily's brother. Emily? Brother. Emily? Brother. Brother. Excellent. Now let's talk about Emily. Emily's? Paul. Paul's Paul daughter. Paul. daughter. Paul and aunt. And, and daughters. daughters. Very good. Or we can say that she is Jason's sister. Jason's sister. Exactly. Now let's talk about Jason and Emily. They both are. ¿Quiénes son ellos dos? Children and oh, wow. children. They are. They are siblings uh -huh. and Paul they and are any children. Children. Uh -huh. Very good job. So we are going to talk about possession. Yeah. So how do we describe this one? We describe this by using possessive case. Hay algo que en inglés se llama possessive case. Okay, possessive case. Que es, miren este ejemplo, look at this example. Class, si quieren que repita, díganme. No se queden con las dudas, ¿ok? Miren. Pose. Or I can write it bigger. I can make it bigger. Look. Pose. ¿Ok? Este que está acá se llama apóstrofe. El apóstrofe. ¿Ok? Apóstrofe. 
okay? This one. How do we call it in English? Apostrophe. No es una comita, no es una tilde. Uh -uh. Se le llama apostrophe, apostrophe. Y nos indica posesión. Nos indica possession. It indicates possession. Okay. In this case, related to family members. For example, number one. Look at this example in number one. And is Paul's wife. Wow. One more time. Maybe I'm going to write this information in other place. And is Paul's wife. So in Spanish, how do we translate this one? And is la esposa de Saúl. Ah, escuchen esa expresión, la esposa de, de, de. Paul. Mm -hmm. So that is the meaning. And is Paul's wife. Number two, Jason and Emily are and da, da, da. so what are we going to do do you have your notebooks yes, yes or no so we are going to work in groups so you can complete this information about this family okay i'm going to send this to whatsapp right now go and check whatsapp can you see the picture did you get the picture class yeah yes so we are going to make groups so you can discuss okay we are going to complete those how many exercises do we have let me check we have one two eight tenemos ocho ejercicios de completar okay i need you to practice okay don't forget to say hi to your classmates here we go, let me see. Let's make groups of six. Here we go. You have five minutes to complete this activity, okay? Five. You can join your group right now. Five minutes to complete this exercise. This is a speaking practice and writing practice, okay? Go ahead, class. Join those groups very good job excellent there you go excellent Very good job. Okay. How about you, Wendy? Sí. Es que no tengo buena señal. Okay, so we're going to work here. Here, okay? How about you, Carmen Guadalupe? Wait, I'm having problem with my camera. Give me a second. My camera is not working. And Juliana, how about you? Okay, let me do something. Voy a cambiar de camera. Here we go. Okay, so go bring your notebook and we are going to write, okay? Let's write with Wendy, Carmen, and Juliana, okay? We are going to work right now. So what do you see in the picture? No se ve la imagen, teacher. Yes, my camera is having problems. Can you see the picture now? 
Yes, I see. Okay, yes, so yes. we have number one. Number one is done for you. Okay, on is Paul's wife. How about number two? Wendy, please read number two. Read number two. Eh, eh, Juliana. Eh, Wendy or Juliana, ah, you, can well, read it. Uh, you can read it, Juliana, don't worry. Eh, Jace, Jason and Emily are their sons, eh, Paul and Anne. Mm -hmm. So what is the correct answer? Take a look at the family members and how do we answer that one correctly? Carmen and Wendy and Juliana. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason and Emily are their uh, sons. Son, both. or we can say Son. children. Children. Okay? Children. Excellent uh, job. Children. And and. Exactly. Here we have, aquí tenemos la respuesta. Mira, look, we have the answer here. Children. Oops, I'm sorry. Here, children. children. Okay, next one. Number three is for Wendy. Wendy, go ahead. Boy, ahorita. Okay. Eh, Paul is Anis mm, son. Okay. Is that correct one? Paul is Anne's son. Are you sure? Um, no, 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 I don't know what's going on with my camera, you know. Okay, but let's continue while I'll fix this one. Number four, no, number, yeah, number four is for you, Carmen Guadalupe. Can you try? Number four. Jason is an... Uh, Uh, mm -hmm. Jason is that boy. Wife. Wife. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, this is Jason. It's a Jason. Mm -mm. Jason uh, is an husband. No. Husband. Look. Son. Son. Es el hijo, no es el esposo. Muy bien. Ese es el hijo. Bien. Son. Excellent job. Number six class. Number, no, number five. Emily is Paul. Emily is Paul. Daughter. Es la hija. Daughter. Okay. So, class. Yeah. Keep on working. Trabajen ustedes en grupo. Voy a visitar a sus compañeros, ¿ok? I know you can do it. Check WhatsApp. Chequemos WhatsApp, ¿ok? Did you finish? Did you finish? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Yes. Ok, excellent job. How about number one? Who can read number one? I'm sorry because of my camera. I don't know what's going on. Ahí estamos. Muy bien. Okay. Okay. Number one, go ahead. An, no sé cómo se pronuncia. An, 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 an is Paul's wife. Wow, number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Hello there. Come on, Marvin, Carmen, Jose Samuel. Hola, eh, Jason and Emily are their children. Excellent job. Thank you. So keep on working. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, was it easy or difficult? Kind of. 
<laughs> okay, excellent. So we're going back right now. Volvemos ya a la sala principal. Excellent job, class. Excellent. Here we come. Don't forget to have your cameras on all the time. Cameras on, please. So was it easy, difficult? How was this exercise? Kind of? Easy. Easy? Okay, so I need five volunteers right now. Raise your hand, five volunteers. Raise your hand to participate. Here we go, five volunteers. Excellent, I have two volunteers. I'm missing three. Two more, two more volunteers. Excellent, one more. One more. Ahí, ahí estamos, five. Okay, number one is for you, Herson. Number two, can you read number two and tell me the correct answer? Jason and Emily are their daughter. Class, is that correct? Jason and Emily, listen. Jason and Emily are their. Son sus? Children. No, children. children, exactly. Because we okay. are talking about two, okay? But great job. Jancy, number three is for you. Okay, Pale, Pale, Pose, Pose. Is and Husband. Okay, is that correct, class? Yes. Yes, yes. yes it yeah. is. Yes, it is. Very good. Number five, Katia. Okay. Emily is Paul's daughter. Is that correct, class? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Catherine, yes. number six. Jason is Emily's brother. Is that correct? Yes, yes it is. Yes, yes. It is. Very good job. Number seven. Number seven. Do I have another volunteer? Let me see. Number seven. Jose Samuel, go ahead. Emily is Jason's sister. Emily is Jason's sister. Is that correct, class? Yes. Yes, yes. yes it is. Yes, yes. It is. And the last one, number eight, is for everybody. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. 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 Very good. Parents. 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 So, parents. Excellent. parents. So, you know, this is in order yeah. to talk about yeah. possession. Okay, possession. Let's write two more examples. Here we go. When we talk about possessive case, we are going to do it in this way. You know, it's easy, but it can be complicated at the same time. Look. Si tenemos dos nombres, and, and, what is the name of the father? Paul. Paul, thank you. Paul. 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 Si vamos a hablar de dos personas, solo a la última persona, bien, le ubicamos el posesivo. And, and Paul. Paul. Posesivo. Posesivo. Very good. If we only have one, in this case, let's say, and we are going to add the apostrophe S to this person. If we have a name that ends in S, for example, Carlos, what are we going to do? We are going to add apostrophe. Or we can do this one. We can add apostrophe S. It's acceptable, but it's not so common. Okay, es más común verso del apostrofe. Okay, Carlos, Carlos. But it's okay. Carlos. Ambas están bien. Okay. Ese es el caso de los nombres que terminan con S. Okay, Carlos. Those are like the basic rules. Las formas más básicas de usar el possessive case. ¿Cómo se llama este tema? Possessive. 
Listen to this word. Possessive. Possessive. ¿Qué viene a su mente cuando decimos possessive? Pertenencia. Pertenencia. Posesión. Posesión. Pertenencia. Posesión. So, for perfect case, we call it to the apostrophe or the apostrophe S. That is the possessive case. Possessive. Case. Possessive case. We call it in that way, the possessive case. For example, if you go to a barber shop or a beauty salon, have you seen that one? ¿Han visto eso en la barbería si en los salones de belleza? Barber shop. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. For example, Ingrid. Let's say that Ingrid has a salon. Ingrid salon and beauty spa. Oh, más fino. <laughs> Salón, miren, Ingrid, o sea que el salón le pertenece a Ingrid, exactly. Can you tell me any other example? ¿Algún otro ejemplo que han visto? Aquí en El Salvador usamos mucho eso de possessive case. Any other example? Sí. Yes, no, no, el salón. Can you repeat that, please? Lily's Nail Salón. Like this one, Lily. Yes. Look, Lily, salon. Nails. Or like this. Y uñas. Oh, imagine. Lily. <laughs> so, what does it mean? Que el salón es de? De Lily. Pero que también ofrecen el servicio uñas. de? Uñas. Uñas. O sea, que salón y uñas. ¿De quién? De Lily. De Lily. Exactly. Lily, salon. Digamos que el salón le pertenece a Lili y a, a Claudia. ¿Cómo pondríamos eso? Lili. Lili y Claudia. Claudia. Exactly. Claudia. Salón. 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 So, is it correct if we do this one? ¿Será correcto esto clase? Lili's en Claudia's salón. No, no, why not? No, no why not? No, segunda persona. Ajá. Solo segunda persona. Exactly. We are just going to add this at the end. Very good job. So, mm -mm, I'm sorry, Lily. But it's not your time, okay? It's just Lily and Claudia. Claudia. Salon, oh. okay? So, this is just a matter of practice. If you keep on practice, if you're curious and you read and identify this topic and this grammar, you're going to remember this information, okay? So questions about this one? Questions? Pregunta, chicos, questions? Yes, no? No. Are you sure? Bernardo, Catherine, Delmi, is it clear? Kelly, Zaira, is it clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay, excellent job, excellent job. Um, let me see, what else do we have? Look, let's start with this exercise. Okay, let me see if this is clear. Now I have the last exercise about this one. And look at this family, we have another family three, and we have some exercises. John and Julia. Marcus and Mary, Peter and Pat, and Anthony, Alex, Sophie and Sam. Wow, look at this family. Is this a big family or small family? Big family. Yeah, it's a big family, you know? It's a big family, very good. So look at this family three and let's complete just number one and number two. I'm going to Ask um, the same for participation. Okay, volunteers. Here we go. Marcos, look at Marcos. Jancy, okay, thank you so much, Jancy. Marcos, where is Marcos? Can you see Marcos? Where is Marcos? Let me look for Marcos. Yes, um, he's next oh, he's to right Mary. Here. So, what can you tell me about Marcos? Marcos is Marcus Alex, is 
Alex's father. Oh, Alex is His a father. baby. It's a baby. So Marcos is Alex. Alex's father. father. Wow. Father. father. Number two, let's identify. Who do we have in number two? We have Julia and we have and where is Julia? Oh, Julia is right here at the top. And we have grandmother. Is, oh, Anne is just right here. Grandmother. 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 Excellent job, class. Number three. Let's look for these people. We have Pat and Sophie. Pat is right here. And oh, we have little Sophie, baby Sophie. Mother. Mother. Is mother. Sophie's mother. Oh, Sophie. Mother. mother or mom? That's okay. Mother. Excellent information. Uh, let's look for number four Sophie yeah. and Sam. So where is Sophie, class? Sophie. Oh, Sophie is the baby. Next to Sam. Next to another baby, okay? Tell me the information. Sophie, Sophie is Sam's son. Our sister. Sister, exactly. Es la de Sam. Sister. Sister. Sophie, Sam's sister. Number five. We have John and Anthony. Anthony is right here. Oh, and look at John. Grandfather. What is grandfather. John is Anthony's grandfather. Is Anthony's grandfather. Very good. Grandfather. grandfather. Excellent information. Uh, what number is next? Number six. 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 Alex and Anne. We have baby Alex right here, and we have this girl Anne. What is Alex, the information? Alex is Alex Alex brother. 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 Okay. Or baby brother. He's the baby brother. That's okay. Anthony and Sophie. Anthony and Sophie. Oh, they are cousins. Cousins. How do you say Anthony. primo? Primo. Cousin. Anthony is Sophie's cousin. Very good job. And Peter and Alex. Peter and Alex. We have Peter right here. His uncle. Uncle. Peter is uncle. Is Alex uncle? Uncle. Peter is Alex. Uncle. Very good. And the last one, Mary and Sam. Mary and Sam. Mary is, Mary is Sam's, Sam's aunt. 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 Yeah. Mary, and aunt. Mary is Sam's aunt. Excellent. Excellent. So I hear a baby. Who has a baby in this class? I guess it's Irma, right? No, it's, I can hear a baby in the class. Okay, excellent. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so excellent. This was an, a nice example in order to practice this topic, okay? Don't forget to check the platform and complete some exercises. So the last topic for today, we still have, wow, so many. Time flies. Que rápido se el tiempo. This one. This is the topic that we are just going to introduce, okay? Simple present, simple present. When are we going to use the simple present? Let me show you. Let's go to the platform and we are going to watch a short explanation. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we are, second activity, second activity, okay? Don't forget to go and visit 
this content. You can watch this video. You also have the transcript. Aquí tienen la transcripción, que también puede ser muy útil, okay? So, let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form... Can you listen? Do you listen? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yes present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Oh, okay. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist mm. in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. Okay, what is he mentioning? He says that we have regular and irregular verbs. But in this case, we have an example with three irregular verbs. Can you mention those three irregular verbs? ¿Qué verbos está poniendo de ejemplo? Have, do, have, and go. go. Yes, class? Have, do, and go. Have, do, do, do and go. go. And go. Have, do, and go. Are these regular or irregular verbs? Irregular. irregular. Ah, irregular. Why do we call them irregular? ¿A quiénes le llamamos verbos irregulares? In Spanish. Yes, okay. Los que son irregulares. Podría decirte los que cambian en su forma cuando los... Conjugan cuando en su tiempo cambia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tercera persona adopta. There you go. Excellent job. This is just to make sure. Para ver cómo andamos con ese tema. Ok. Exactly. When we conjugate, cuando los conjugamos con la tercera persona, <laughs> cambian. cambian okay? Exactly. <laughs> What was that? They change. Cuando los conjugamos. Fíjate que. Class, come on, don't forget your microphones. Irregular verbs. So, have, do, and go. Let's continue. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has. Okay. Do equals to does. Go equals to goes. Let's... Okay, so that's what we were talking about. When we use he, she, and it, these verbs are going to change for example have it becomes has do it becomes that and go analyze the it becomes 
goes, okay? But this is just the introduction. We are going to take more time tomorrow so we can listen to this video. If you can, please go check the platform and watch the video and read, okay? So tomorrow you are going to have a clear idea about this topic, okay? Before we go, before we go, no olviden las indicaciones. Para más que todo, tengo a Gabriela y Karen. Siempre escribamos el nombre completo, ¿ok? Antes de que finalice la sesión, escribámoslo. Si gustan, yo les ayudo. Porque cuando terminamos la sesión, se guarda la asistencia y así sabemos de que eh, su nombre completo o son ustedes las que han estado en clase. Me pasa más que todo en este grupo porque se me repiten varios nombres, ¿ok? So, don't forget to write your full name full name all the time and have cameras on. So we are going to do something. I'm going to take a screenshot, okay? Voy a tomar un screenshot, lo vamos a enviar al chat para que siempre quede como evidencia de que sí estuvimos acá, okay? En caso que digan, no, no estuvo, aquí está la asistencia, aquí está la screenshot, okay? So smile in three, two, and one. Oh, you look so beautiful, class. Give me a second, don't move. I'm going to take another picture. Second imagine, okay? In three, in two, and one, smile. Excellent, thank you, Amilcar, for turning on your camera. And yes. here we are, wow class. We are going to do this in every class. Si se me olvida, Acuérdenme, okay? Teacher, el screenshot, teacher, la lista, okay? So, questions about this. Pregunta, chicos, questions. Yes, no? No, yo salí no. mal. No. Why, no? Okay, so, if not, we are going to stop the class here and we are going to meet tomorrow, okay? I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye, class. Thank you for joining. Bye bye. Hey, bye bye. 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 Bye bye.